Hey, hey, hey. It is Coach Tracy. I'm excited to be with you again today. And I hope you're having an amazing, an amazing day, doing all that you're called to do, making those plans, moving and shaking, doing what is required. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching me both live and the replay. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Tracy Davis and I am a business and success coach and I help career women take their expertise, their talent, their gifts and turn it into a digital product in the goal, with the goal of creating a digital empire. I mean, why not, right? So let's go ahead and get started with today's lesson. I like to talk about things pertaining to the mindset of an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur forever and I absolutely love it. But you know what? Being an entrepreneur can have it, uh, its ups and downs, right? It can be challenging and there can be times when you wanna quit, when you wanna give up and you say, you know what? Why am I even doing this, right? And so what I want to do today is actually just share, you know, what do you do to break through a glass ceiling? What do you do when you're frustrated? What do you do when you want to quit? Well, the resonating word that you know just kept leaping in my spirit was persist you have to persist you know anybody that you study that is great that has accomplished amazing things or things that you are impressed with they have persisted they've persisted through the hard times through the broke times through the broken times and you know what if you're going to be an entrepreneur really if you're going to accomplish anything in life that is significant you're going to have to learn to persist you know, I've seen so many stories and a lot of times we'll admire the after. We'll admire, you know, when they've met the goal, but we don't realize what they went through to actually get there. You know, and all of us are human. I know that I have gone through periods where I just didn't want to do it anymore. I want to play anymore. I want to take my ball and just go home, you know, but to accomplish the things that I know that God wants me to, the things that he's placed inside of me so that when I leave this planet, I leave empty, right? I have to persist. And so do you. And I remember years ago, the Lord had given me a vision and the vision was I saw like this old deserted town. Right. And if you've ever watched Westerners, they'll have like these old towns and they'll have like tumbleweeds, you know, like because nobody's there anymore. Well, that's what I saw. But I also saw like different buildings of different sizes. Right. Some at the foundation, some, you know, maybe a story, some maybe two stories, but nothing complete. And he was actually showing me that there were a lot of, that represented people's dreams. There were a lot of people that had started and stopped, right? And that's really the difference between someone that is successful and the person that isn't. That's the difference between a person that has a great life as opposed to a person that has a mediocre life. They stopped, right? And so one of the things that you have to develop as an entrepreneur is the ability to stick with it, is the ability to not quit. You know, I talked about believing yesterday and the steps that you need to take to actually believe. Well, this is definitely one of those keys. Of course, somebody's calling me while I'm live. I'll just let it, um, well, let me turn it off. All right, sorry about that. But anyway, um, one of the things that you have to do besides believing is to learn to persist. You gotta have that stick to itiveness. You gotta have the ability to go when nobody else wants to go with you. You know, um, I was actually reading a story today, uh, in, and I suggest really every black entrepreneur, you, you really need to read this book, Thinking Grow Rich, A Black Choice. Phenomenal book. And um, there was a, a particular um, chapter in there that where um, Dennis Kimbrough was talking about you know, trying to finish his book and he needed uh, Mr. Graves, you know, Black Enterprise founder, um, you know, he wanted to interview him and they kept telling him no, kept telling him no, kept telling him no. And, you know, he would, um, you know, try different letters, try the phone calls and he kept getting no, no, no. Uh, he doesn't have time. You know, he's flattered that you're asking, but he just doesn't have time. And so he persisted anyway. And, you know, God opened a door. You have to read it for yourself. But he opened a door for him to be able to actually interview Mr. Graves and be able to finish his book. But the biggest lesson that he said he learned from that was the power of persistence. It took him over 18 months to get that interview, right? And so when I read something like that, it inspires me that, you know what, I can't give up because I received one no. I can't give up because I ran an ad and it didn't, you know, perform the way I wanted it to, right? But you have to say the same thing for yourself. Just because things haven't manifested yet, it doesn't mean that you get to quit, right? You have to persist, right? And so I actually read, um, well, I wrote down a couple of quotes that I wanted to just make sure you get into your spirit today. Nothing takes the place of persistence. 
Nothing takes the place of persistence. When I listened to Denzel Washington and I listened to all the, you know, auditions that he had before we ever knew about him, right? When I, you know, of course, you know, with Chad, uh, Chadwick Boseman passing, we see how he persisted through pain, right? Persisted through a deadly disease. Guys, we got to get to the point where we will persist no matter what. We will do what it takes no matter what, okay? Um, I love this. Greater than courage is persistence. Greater than courage is persistence. Yes, we can uh, be courageous, but greater than that is persistence. And then I thought this one was pretty powerful. Persistence will keep the glowing flame of desire lit until it could be fanned into a searing laser. You have to persist past the pain. You have to persist past the obstacles. You have to persist beyond the nose, right? To get to your desire, to get from your point A to your point B. No one said it was gonna be easy. No one said it would happen overnight. But if you really, really want it, if you feel really, really called, compelled, you know, you have a strong desire to see something happen, you have to develop persistence. And I love this quote, persistence is the stuff that achievement is made of, right? We were talking about achieving, right? And, and what's amazing to me is this, a lot of people don't have the stuff to make it happen, but I'm hoping that you have the stuff, you have the persistence, you have the courage, you have the desire to keep going when you wanna throw in the towel. I want to encourage you, you know, just by reading other people's stories. And one of the things that I saw is that after Abraham Lincoln had won the presidential election, he had to borrow money to get to his inauguration. How many of us will persist even when we're broke, right? How many of us will persist even when we're broken? I hope that you are a person that will persist. I hope you're a person that is writing down your goals. I hope you're a person that, you know, is, is really, really laser focused right? Yes, you may cry. Yes, you may be discouraged. Yes, you may feel like, man, I'm wasting my time. But guess what? You're not. Continue to persist. You know, whether it's that book you need to write, whether it's that coaching practice you need to launch, whether, you know, whatever business it is that you're wanting to do, I want you to persist past the pain, past all of the obstacles and make that thing happen. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to see if there's anything else I wanted to share with you. Um, oh, I thought this was a good quote. History doesn't write about quitters. History doesn't write about quitters. History writes about winners. History writes about those that persisted, right? So we've heard about people that have gone through medical issues, gone through uh, relationship issues, and they still persisted. You know, gone through financial issues, and they still persisted. How much more can you do the same, okay? I want to thank you so much for watching me every single day. I want to thank you so much for the high fives, for the DMs, for the hearts. I love all of it. And I'm hoping that as I come on, that you are encouraged, that you are inspired, and that more than anything else, you will persist until that dream will actually manifest, all right? So stay encouraged and know that I'll be back here again, same time, tomorrow, encouraging you and inspiring you. And if you're looking for some information on, hey, what does it even take to start an online business? Check out my masterclass. The link is in my bio. This is Coach Tracy Davis, MySuccessZone.com, MySuccessZone.com. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching.